A lesson in economics taught by baseball cards. I should say the economics of collectibles. Growing up, I heard stories about uh, people who held on to their baseball cards and their comic books. And uh, most people didn't. And, uh, you know, moms just took a look and said, oh, that's junk, and threw it out. And uh, kids, they didn't really take care of them. You know, put the baseball card in the spoke of the bicycle. That'll fix it. And, however, those few who did collect them, those who took care of them, they or their heirs found they had a small fortune. Because the baseball cards and the comic books, they appreciated in value. Uh, so I got into collecting baseball cards as a kid, and I got quite a few of them. Um, I counted once, and I have about 30,000. And uh, uh, I had heard a lot of people got into collecting comic books for the same reason. And uh, there was actually a big uh, collector's push at Marvel where they took advantage of people wanting to be collectors. And they did a printing of some comics like X-Men number one of uh, a million copies. And people went out and they bought it and thinking it would be worth something. And it really has not appreciated in value that much because of this collector's boom that went bust. And I thought, you know, thankfully I collected something sensible like baseball cards, so I wouldn't have that problem. Well, as I've been planning for the adoption, I, uh, I uh, decided now it's probably time to get rid of the baseball cards to cash in that big pile of uh, beautiful cardboard that will perhaps totally finance the entire adoption. Uh, I have not actually actively collected cards in probably 14 or 15 years. Uh, so it's, it's about time. And uh, I took a look and found out that baseball cards did not really appreciate all that much. In fact, you can still get full, complete sets from the 1980s and 90s uh, for $20 for the entire set. And I thought, well, there's got to be a lot of special cards out there. And uh, one that my mom just sent me is a bunch of cards that I had. And this one here is a Don Russ Nolan Ryan career series. It's based on the career of Nolan Ryan, the all-time strikeout king. And this is an entire set, unopened, celebrating this amazing career. And I thought, well, maybe this would have maintained value. And I, I bought it in a card shop and I paid $10, good deal, on eBay, going for five bucks. Now, the whole, the whole thing is what happened uh, with both baseball cards and comic books, is uh, people heard the stories. They heard how people made uh, the, the fortunes, you know, on the bicycle spokes and the moms throwing stuff away. And they said, yeah, this is what we can do. But you had so many people thinking that, that you got so many uh, baseball cards out there, there's still a glut on the market. So they're not worth less, but they haven't taken off in value. And uh, there is a lesson there uh, in the economics of the value of collectibles uh, that applies um, that, that applies across the board. Uh, the big parts of value are driven by demand, and they're also driven by scarcity. And when you have a lot of baseball cards or comic books, it just absolutely crashes the uh, market for cards uh, beyond that vintage period or, uh, you know, a certain era of comic books. You know, if you've got a Captain America comic from the 1940s, that's going to be worth a lot. If you have a Mickey Mantle card from the 1950s, that'll be worth a ton. 
but uh, unfortunately, uh, the uh, the whole era of uh, the 1990s, they're not going to be worth nearly as much, with perhaps a few exceptions. Now, I should say that my baseball card collection, like I said, it's not worthless, but it's worth a lot less than I would have hoped. And uh, I think it's an interesting lesson in the way that behavior uh, can uh, drive the uh, way that prices and that uh, collect collectibles uh, accrue value. So pr whenever it comes to collectibles, I th think the big lesson I take away is there is no guarantee on future return. So... Be wise about what you collect, what you spend on collecting in terms of your expectation of someday uh, getting a big return. Um, you know, and you know, if you're going to collect, collect something you like, then you won't be as disappointed. For me, I had a lot of great memories of getting the baseball cards, but right now I hope to make a lot more uh, better memories of being a father. So. Uh, for the most part, they're all going to go for whatever I can get get for them. But uh, uh, take the lesson, you know, the more you know.